Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jason Worley with Worley Custom Fab. Today we've got episode two of our 2020 Chevy 5500 medium duty build series. So hopefully you tuned into episode one of our build series and got caught up on that. Today we're gonna go into a little bit more detail on the suspension system that we're putting on our medium duty project. We got a hold of Kelderman Manufacturing based out of Iowa. We've been doing work with Kelderman for many years now. Uh, we use them on our own personal shop trucks and we do a lot of customer installs as well. So we are a Kelderman uh, certified uh, installation shop and dealer. So as we mentioned in our first video, we optioned our medium duty from the factory with an engine drive air compressor. A lot of you probably knew exactly what we were getting at when we mentioned that in the video. So these trucks are notorious for a pretty rough ride. Unloaded, they ride very stiff in the rear. Uh, with a load on them, they ride a little bit better, but it's still not by any means a smooth ride. So what we did is got a hold of Kelderman air suspension and we put their four link dual airbag rear suspension system on the back of this truck. And it's a pretty in-depth install, but it is 100% bolt-on kit. There's no welding required to do this install. As you can see, the main components of the kit is this heavy-duty frame rail piece, which is getting bolted, uh, sandwiched to the factory frame rail. When you remove all of your factory leaf spring brackets, you're left with pretty well a bare frame section. And there's a couple holes that have to be drilled, and then the Kelderman frame section gets bolted right up to the OEM chassis. Very heavy duty piece, adds a lot of rigidity to the factory frame with its folded edges and additional gusseting. On the front of that bracket, you'll see it houses the front four link mounts for the four link arms. The four link arms are some very large heavy duty arms with some huge polyurethane bushings to eliminate the road vibration and road noise that, that you'll typically get with a heim joint. So you can see we're, we're actually missing a component here. There's still a couple uh, small items, minor details that need to be buttoned up on this setup. Uh, but there will be a connecting rod from this self-leveling valve that connects to the upper four-link arm so that when there's a load put on the truck, it will adjust, this arm will move with the load and it will adjust the airflow to the bags so that it's self-leveling. The other nice feature to these self-leveling systems is that you have the dump option, just like an 18-wheeler semi-truck would have you have a switch in the cab where you can dump the air out of the rear bag so you can lower the rear end of the truck to help with loading and unloading stuff or to help hook up to trailers to gooseneck ball or fifth wheel hitch. So moving on from there, they've got a couple of mounting points here that are offset from the bracket, which will come in handy when it comes time to mounting the bed and the fifth wheel hitch. Those will be some main mount points there to tie the fifth wheel or the gooseneck hitch directly to the chassis. We've got the double bags to handle the necessary load capacity of these trucks. Right now, we've just got air temporary tied up to them uh, as the system's not connected to the air tank on the truck yet. The double bags are connected down to the axle with a massive mounting system and a super heavy duty lower mount bracket on the bottom side of the axle. And all that is located to the axle housing with the locator pin that the leaf springs used to use so that you can't you don't have to worry about that being put in the wrong spot. It's it bolt on right into that same location. Now these trucks uh, from the factory with the leaf springs, they don't come with a sway bar, so you will have some side to side roll. So adding the sway bar to these trucks gives you a tremendous amount of more stability and control. It's a necessary thing with four link, otherwise the truck would have a lot of body roll. Most of these medium duty trucks come from GM without a rear shock absorber, only leaf springs. So obviously when Kelderman designed this kit, they included shocks as well. The shocks are a very important part uh, to, a quality, to a high quality ride. So Kelderman does a lot of work with Raptor. These are custom valve shocks that they designed specifically for this application. Remote reservoir with billet clamps, stainless steel hoses, and those shocks are fastened down to the lower, down to the axle, to the same bracket that the sway bar is connected to, and up to the chassis. So that will be a major help in the overall ride quality of this kit. On a four link system, a panhard bar is a necessary component. Without it, the rear axle would be floating in the chassis and would be moving left and right uh, out from underneath the chassis. It would be uncontrollable. So when Kelderman designed the kit, they built a very heavy duty uh, stabilizer arch mounting bar 
that is tied into both of the axle side airbag mount brackets. And at the top of that is where they tie the pan hard bar into, which then ties back to the chassis. As I mentioned, this keeps the axle centered and solid in the middle of the chassis. Now, as we mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, we did opt for the engine driven air compressor and onboard air dryer and tank. However, the tank that comes from the factory is pretty small in size. It's only about a two gallon tank. So we're uh, planning on putting a larger capacity air storage tank on the truck, which is why none of the airlines are currently connected. And we'll uh, move to the front and show you what's going on up there.